Hello and welcome to the Gamers YouTube channel. I'm your host LJ90 aka Justin and I want to welcome you to our first video capture session. Lawrence had alluded to it earlier, but while we're on vacation for the holidays and New Year, we still wanted to give you guys content, still wanted to give you guys something to hold you over until we start back recording the podcast again. So what I'm going to do for the next eight weeks until Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires comes out, I'm just going to do a uh, a weekly series on Dynasty Warriors 7 Extreme Legends. Uh, it'll be very basic. It'll go through how to get the titles. It'll go through how to get your more tricky chaos weapons, how to get your more tricky nightmare weapons, how to properly level your characters, what the different seals do, what the different weapons do. Just a really brief overview, not I shouldn't say brief, but just an overview of the game, what it has to offer, how to get the most out of your hub in legend mode. Uh, maybe even go through some of the challenges if that's what you guys want to see. Uh, really just to prime us for when Empires comes out. And when Empires comes out, we might have a little surprise for you. But you got to stay tuned for that. Uh, so, without further ado, let's just get started. What we have here, this is the hub of Legend Mode. And the main purpose of Legend Mode is just a series of missions you go through to try to get your Chaos and Nightmare weapons so you can tackle the game at higher difficulty levels. Um, I have a brand new character, Liu Bei. I say he's brand new because outside of the couple missions he's in in Dynasty Warriors 7, I haven't really used him. You can check his stats. He's really not there yet. His power and speed are maxed out, but that's about it. Uh, if we go to his titles, you see I don't have any other titles. And I'll go through what each title does, how to unlock each title. Um, I can actually do that now. Um, you get the different titles by completing the different objectives and for this next title what I have to do is on a stage of two star rank or higher I have to be three officers in seven minutes and I'll go through which stages you should pick to do these to kind of get the most out of you know to, to speed level I should say so you can level up quicker so you can get the titles quicker and the titles really make getting your chaos and nightmare weapons a little bit easier so we'll go with that um, what? While you're at your hub, you see you have your strategist here, and you have your adjutant here. Now, your adjutant is really just the guy that's in charge of the town. They really don't do much. Uh, the, re the main reason why they're there is so you can unlock different wallpapers and different voice captures for, the, uh, for whoever your adjutant is selected as. Uh, and you can change that up just by talking to the counselor here. So if I go to him and if I just... Select this. Do you wish to appoint Hello, if I want to appoint someone new. And I can. I can just go through and select anyone. I can just change it to change it to Guan Yu. So we put Guan Yu there. You see, it doesn't really change much. One thing you should note though is in the top right, you see how it says orderly? There's three states for your town. Carefree, orderly, and friendly. Uh, you want to get you always want it to be at friendly because when it gets to friendly that's when you unlock the new wallpaper the new voice capture for the person and then you can switch out and do it with someone else um, another bonus to having an adjutant is they also get slight stat increases for every mission you do now if we go here to the strategist the main purpose of the strategist is to buy manuals to help level up your person now these war manuals as you see they can up your health your attack, your defense, your power, your speed, and your skill points. Um, you see already Liu Bei has max power and speed um, and skill points. You use your skill points to level up your combos, get new moves, and get special abilities. Uh, if you go to your officer info and look at your skills, you can see this is what you use your skill points for. So I can actually show you how to do that now. See, now you've unlocked his normal attacks, unlock the new charge attack, increase his speed by a little bit. I don't know why Liu Bei would need to be a double volts master, but we'll go with that. Attack range up, that's always good to have. Um, if you remember the wind scroll from Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5, that attack range up is similar to that. Uh, see, you get new voice gallery. And the way to get voice gallery too, like I said, you gotta level your adjutant up to friendly. And it's easy to do that. You just keep doing missions and eventually it'll become friendly. 
So there's that. Let me make sure his animal is set correctly. Uh, if you go to you can select your animals here. Uh, for most speed runs, you're gonna want to pick Red Hair. He's the fastest one. Um, but other than that, if you're just messing around playing with them, there's no bad animal to pick. Uh, the tiger's pretty fun just because it's fun to see them all people. The panda's pretty funny to watch too. Um, so yeah, there's no wrong answer, but like I said, if you're trying to just speed level, get things quickly, especially for your nightmare and chaos weapons, you're gonna want red hair. Um, and I'll go over how to get that too. Now you've got your two different people here. You've got your blacksmith and your weapons dealer. Your weapons dealer is where you're going to buy your weapons from. Uh, as you can see, you can just click on the type of weapon you want. See, i got some DLC here. Uh, maybe I'll do a video reviewing the, the weapons that I did get. Because all of the DLC weapons are standard weapons in Empires. So give, just give you a little preview of what you can expect in Empires. Um, but you can just pick the weapon and you just buy it for a set of gold or a set amount of gold and there you go um, I should go back actually you'll notice some weapons they say you can't buy them it requires a skill called smithing to, to get that you just have to switch out to a character that has that skill um, I just use Zhuge Leong I know he has it so if I want if I wanted to get these swords I would just switch to Zhuge Leong, buy the swords, and I'd have them. But I already have Liu Bei's Chaos Swords, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, the next important person is your merchant. Now what your merchant is going to do is... There's different provinces you can send your merchant to, and they'll come back with treasure, weapons, guardian animals. This is how you get your guardian animals if you didn't play Dynasty Warrior 7. You just send him to these different provinces and he'll come back so what I'm trying to do now is I'm just trying to get him to go to different provinces just to un bring back everything um, the treasures will bring back a certain amount of gold which helps you if you're still trying to buy weapons for everyone if you just want to be a completionist and get all the weapons for everybody um, that's how you would do it that's one way to do it and the city guard is where you go when you want to actually start your mission so let's go back to the title review what I have to do. I have to defeat three officers within seven minutes on beginner or higher, stage rank, two stars or higher. Okay. Um, for your first couple sets of titles, the best stage to do is Mount Ding Jong because it's got a cluster of officers in the center of the stage. So you can just run to the center of the stage and you'll see three officers right there. You can just knock them out like that and for your first sets of titles, it's a really good stage to use. So we're going to use this stage. And because Liu Bei isn't quite leveled up yet, we're just going to keep it on hard until I can get his stats up to a, a respectable level. Because on Chaos and Nightmare, especially on Nightmare, the, the, the AI and the difficulty gets ramped up. Um, and on Nightmare, one particularly punishing thing, your defense doesn't matter. All enemy attacks ignore your defense. So, in a, in a later video, I'll go over how to help get around that, because there are some things you can do. Um, and part of that is getting your titles. So, let's get this show on the road, and let's start with this first title. Uh, and they're showing Lu Meng, um, one of the officers revealed in Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, again, something else I'm excited for. Um, I'm looking forward to Dynasty Warriors 8. Um, from what I've seen, it looks like they're taking the best of uh, all the previous and seize Han Chong. Uh, which shows that they are listening to the fans, not just uh, their home base fans, but also fans out west. So it's good to know. All right, so as we see Mount Ding Jung, we start, we've got two officers right here in the center. So I'm just going to take these two guys out now. And just like that, everybody drops. Now where is we are? We must assist our allies. Follow me. And 
I've got seven minutes to do this, so I'm not in any particular rush. But, you know, I still want to be quick about it. And, as you know, um, well, if you play Dynasty Warriors before, you know when you defeat an officer, they will drop uh, a stat increase, whether it's a, a sword for your attack, a shield for your defense, or a meat bun for your health to increase your base health. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. Well, I took out those two. Now let's go take out this third officer. Uh, one thing that this will do... Uh, Extreme Legends does when you, oh good it's Jang. Now I do want to end this quickly because he is a pain even on lower difficulties. If you let him get rolling, he will juggle you and make you pay for it. So let's just. Get this over here. But as I was saying, when you're going through your objectives, uh, when you've actually completed your objective, you can check on your status. And I will show you how to do that one time. And Jen has uh, Alright, Jen hands down. Now, if I pause it and go to Officer Info, check my titles. See, it tells me that it's cleared. So. We see that it says I've cleared. So, we're going to get back to the action. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind. You will not earn the title if you lose the stage. It doesn't matter if you completed the objective, you have to win the stage. And the hell you won just blew me back. Like, that was, that was cool. So, let's put him on. And go on with the rest of the stage. So. Another reason why we picked this stage is the, the commander tends to not get in a lot of trouble, so you don't have to worry about uh, the officer you're protecting uh, losing to a random soldier. See, Huang Zhong is not on the verge of the No, you're not. I'm watching you. No, I'm here, watching you. Your army is not on the verge of collapse. I, I'm, I, I'm with you. We are raining lightning down on everybody. See, you just wanted attention. I understand, old man. Your kids don't really do anymore. You're lonely. It's okay. I'll hold your hand. It's gonna be alright. See, and then he's gonna disrespect me by saying, oh, you came to save me. Yeah, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't bode well. So disrespectful. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my horse and we're gonna finish off that time. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Guo Hai is... Yup, there he is. Guo Hai is another guy that's a pain. Uh, his Muso attack will drain your health and heal him, or he'll just impale you with his gun and unload a clip into you. Either way, he's not someone you should just let linger around. And Guo Hai. He's not dead yet. Come on. It appears I underestimated you. But this time, I shall give you no quarter. There we go, Lupe. There we go. All right, and the battle is over. So we've got the title. Um, we just let the screen go through. Now you saw you get a little bit of gold. Um, but your main method of getting gold is just going to be after every mission, check in with your merchant. He'll bring you back good stuff. So. We're going to go on, and we should get a scene for getting our brand new title. Yep, here it is. And so now our new title is Field General. 
So we got the new title, and if we go into the menu, we can see what it does. All right, it says damage inflicted on enemies increases marginally when using weapons requiring power. Now there's two weapon types in Dynasty Warrior 7. You've got your speed weapons and you've got your power weapons. Uh, your speed weapons, you can tell they're speed weapons by if you can do a, a jump dash in midair, it's a speed weapon. If when you're swinging the weapon, you get a little wind gust around you, that's a power weapon. That's gonna be very important later on. So right now we see this just inflicts you know, when we're using power weapons, we get a little boost. It's easier to get rid of officers. So that's that. And if we look at the next one, it tells us, all right, a little bit trickier, three officers in four minutes on a tougher stage. So next video, I'll go over um, just how to get some of the harder titles. Um, and then I'll discuss a little bit how to set up your weapons. Because I don't know if you caught it, you notice the weapons have seals on them. And the seals give you different stat boosts. I'll go over how to... Set up your character for when you try to tackle the harder stages, what you should look for, um, what you should boost, what you shouldn't boost. And yeah, if there's anything that I haven't gone over that you want us to go over, uh, leave a comment. Uh, just leave a comment below. Uh, we thank you for hanging out with us. We thank you for supporting us. It does mean a lot to us. Um, we're going to try to keep this series up every week. Um, we'll try to have a new video up every week. I'm just going over Dynasty to Warriors 7 Extreme Legends. Um, we should start recording our regular podcast again after New Year's. So January 3rd should be um, our next record date. So it means we should have um, the recording up that Friday. Uh, so again, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. I want to thank you for all your support. And hopefully you'll stick around. You'll stay tuned. Um, and like I said... Well, we might have a little surprise for you when Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires comes out. So, until next time, uh, I'm your host, LJ90, and I will see you next week. Take care, everyone.